Welcome, welcome. This is Improved Boy Joe. I am Joe. And today, we're doing the word of the day, quote of the day, motivational perspective, book that you should read, and um, checking in with you. How are you doing? What's going on? There's a lot going on in the world. It is now February 1st, 2021. And we'll go ahead and get started with the word of the day. So, word of the day today. Emeritus. Emeritus, from the Latin meaning, thoroughly deserved. This is normally a title given to a semi-retired academic. A professor emeritus is either expected to teach a full complement of classes, nor to continue with administrative difficulties, but is still called a professor because of long and honorable service. You might, if you were being disrespectful, say it was the scholarly equivalent of being kicked upstairs. It's pretty funny. I don't think a lot of professor emeritists would really complain about being kicked upstairs and having less to do and not having to teach a full roster of classes, but emeritus, maybe one day I'll become a speaker emeritus. Never know. We'll see. By the way, emeritus, E-M-E-R-I-T-U-S, emeritus. Quote of the day today, quotes by Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, going to do a, just a general top four. You're going through some of my, uh, it's, it's kind of cool. I have like a recipe type thing for workouts, for recipes and like actual cooking recipes. And then also just for quotes, different people. I have my uh, sheet of quotes and just lists and everything. Uh, these were from a couple years ago that I just found recently. So definitely excited to go through these, write them on, consolidate everything. Uh, definitely in a period of consolidation. So consolidating, figuring things out, making a plan for the future, moving forward, all that good stuff. So four quotes by Mahatma Gandhi. You must be the change you want to see in the world. Pretty simple, but uh, very, very powerful. I'm trying to do that. I want you to try to do that. You must be the change you want to see in the world. Number two, nobody can hurt me without my permission. Nobody can hurt me without my permission. It's pretty much what it comes down to. You're ultimately responsible for your own feelings, your actions, your thoughts. And and from that, you're responsible for your reactions, your emotions because of what other people do and what they say and, and what society is and everything. You know, you, it's a it's a strong thing. It's, it's a if you can have that mental emotional barrier from other people, not to say that you shouldn't connect with them, shouldn't be, you know, close to them or or wear wear your heart on your sheaves, sleeves, of course not. But if you let them hurt you, that's your own fault. Three, the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. It's unfortunate. My brother knows there is a, <laughs> maybe he's watching. There's a, there's a, there's actually a couple people in my life who unfortunately cannot forgive and forget and move on. Um, not saying that they're weak specifically just because of that. But, you know, there are certain things in my life where I've had to forgive and forget. Uh, well, even though I don't really like the forgive and forget you know, uh, forgive and move forward. That's that's the better uh, coining of term, in my opinion, better uh, combination of words. Forgive and move forward. Because the weak can never forgive. Forget, forgiveness is an attribute of the strong. So be strong. Learn to forgive. It's okay. Even if you screwed up, even if you're the one at fault, forgive. I mean, uh, <laughs> forgive yourself. Forgive for the other people for not being able to forgive you. It's all a world of forgiveness, and then everyone's happy. And that's ultimately the goal, at least in my mind. I mean, obviously money and wealth and prosperity and all that kind of stuff, of course. But just happiness, pretty much it. Number four, always aim at complete harmony of thought and word and deed. Always aim at purifying your thoughts, and everything will be well. I'll say it again. Always aim at complete harmony of thought and word and deed. Always aim at purifying your thoughts and everything will be well. This is real Zen type stuff. Like, you know, obviously if you only think about harmony and your thoughts and all that kind of stuff, everything else is not going to be, I mean, there's certain, you know, <laughs> idealistic, you know, Zen guru type perspective when it comes to that. But, you know, your, your thoughts become actions, your action becomes reality and all that kind of stuff too. So it's, it's a similar take on that, a couple of other quotes. But yeah, Mahatma Gandhi, a lot to learn from him. You know, I learned what I learned growing up. There's a lot more out there that I don't know. And it's, uh, that's what part of this is going to be, learning about all this kind of stuff. 
So that's going to go back in the quote list to be incorporated later. And we will talk about this giant, amazing book that my, my, that my girlfriend has that I've been starting to read recently. Wow. Wow. Shall I do the, thumb, do, do the thumbnail quick? Just so you guys see what comes into the thumbnail for me. Real simple. I'm not about that whole clickbaity stuff. But yeah, New York Times bestseller. Or wait, maybe not bestseller. New York Times by the New York, New York Times. Guide to Essential Knowledge. And some of you might think, hmm, how would a Fox News Guide to Essential Knowledge look differently? I don't know. But either way, so uh, I I've read, I've read this before. I did not read the entire book, but just reading through it. And I just want to read part of the very first section, which is on architecture. Brief history of architecture. A uh, noted arch arch architectural historian said, Architecture, in the end, is nothing more and nothing less than the gift of making places for some human purpose. It's pretty true. I mean, throughout all of history, since, since man and woman have become man and woman, become homo erectus and all that, we've made places, whether or not they're homes, bathhouses, you know, aqueducts, religious, I mean, amphitheaters, stone structures... I mean, that's literally the whole point of, or the whole premise of Ancient Aliens. All these things which we've made, some we don't understand, some do, some we know the source, some we don't. You know, it's just, yeah. So, the earliest known humans who left evidence of their dwelling places were hunters who followed migratory, migratory game herds and did not establish permanent living places. They did, however, stay in some locations long enough to seek shelter in caves and build huts to which they regularly returned. These primitive dwellings were the earliest beginnings of architecture beginning in caves beginning around 40,000 years ago modern humans were displaced the early neanderthals began to create domestic and ceremonial spaces in caves i mean it's it's amazing for structures instead of like it's not like a house the earliest known structures built by archaic humans homo erectus are are at terra amata in southern france dating to about 380,000 years ago I mean, there's another one, Ice Age huts built of mammoth bones that would have been covered by hides have been found in many sites of Eastern Europe, including a famed example at Mazurik, Mazurik Ukraine, dating to about 15,000 years ago. So really, I mean, it's as I go through this whole book of amazing knowledge, as I learn other things, you know, I, ref, I, I look back to them and try to reference it, and there, there's a lot for me to learn, and I literally want this year to be about learning. I want you to take some motivation and passion and, and enthusiasm about learning from me and from my play. And, you know, we're, whether or not it's about the stock market, whether or not it's about just general human communication and ability and, and what, how this information is going to help us figure things out moving forward, you know, just information for my self-help book, the improvement book that I'm writing, you know, it, it, it all, it all goes to the whole. So and that, that one thing that I would like to wrap it up, got the quote, got the word. I mean, yeah, I got the word, got the quote, got the book. Now you need the motivational perspective. How could you have, how could you have lived and existed without it? How could you have done anything in this world without it, without me telling you the key? Because you're, you're a human, you're smart. You've probably figured out part of it on your own. Being happy is part of it, but... Me, I like to think longer term. So not only what will make me better, learning, education, improving myself, what will make you better, something entertaining that you'll have fun with, but that also you'll learn things. Whether or not it be me streaming in the mornings or afternoons or, you know, making random videos or just going on a run or working out, you know, I want you to learn. I want you to enjoy, improve in some way. And that's all I'm doing. Uh, and, you know, it'll take some time. Like I said, about the whole edits, no edits, etc., back and forth. Um, but yeah, and, and one of the key tenets of the channel, if you haven't gotten already, is going to be education. Uh, you know, whether or not it's talking to elementary, middle, high school kids about their education, about what can happen if you are educated or not educated. Um, you know, changing political opinions that education should be more important than anything else. You know, healthcare is very, very important. But honestly, education might be more important in terms of the long view potential impact of it. Um, obviously, individual health at the time is more important than long term down the road. But 
you have to be able to both invest short term and invest long term. Only through a diversified approach can you be successful or profitable in the market. As a lot of people who are dealing with GameStop and all that kind of stuff are now figuring out, there is highs and there are lows. I'm very, very trepidatious about the stuff with Game, GameStop. Good luck to everyone. I currently have one share in it just for the help, just for the fun of it. Um, I really hope people don't lose out on their life savings. Like a lot of people have hashtag YOLO'd. And, you know, there'll, there'll be some point when people get out. Some people don't. But we'll see what happens. Um, so thank you for everyone who has joined already from either that, the other streams last week, and is looking forward to seeing other stuff, looking forward to seeing the continued content, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but either way, thank you for being here. Seriously. Thank you for watching. Thank you for improving. Thank you for enjoying your uh, speaker emeritus. No, I'm kidding. Not, not yet. It'll get to that point. Um, but yeah, really, thank you, thank you so much for watching. It's my, uh, you know, little time of day to talk with you, to engage, interact. Uh, don't forget, I have a Discord as well. I'll put up the link on there. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. I finally started my Improve with Joe LLC on LinkedIn, so now I'm officially a quote unquote business owner. Even though I still need to go through the official paperwork with the state and et cetera, et cetera. I have the name, not the official paperwork hasn't been finished, but. Either way, that's the update. Uh, moving forward. Enjoy. Have fun. Be happy. Live life. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for improving with Joe. See you.